Now, the next thing is I want to flow data from the child to the parent. Okay, so right here, we have city coming from the parent. This time, I want to pass some data from the child up to the parent. And so to do that, you would use a output type function. And I'm going to call this um, maybe population is assigned to a new event emitter. Okay. And there are two types here, as you can see. So you have to make sure you get the correct one. And uh, this one here will be, I don't remember which one, but one of these is not the, the right one. Okay, we'll see if it's the right one or not. Okay, even emitter, I think this is the one. Okay, must make sure it is from the core. There's a different one as well. That takes the other one. Um, that is another type. We'll see if it's the right one. And then this is going to take a type of, uh, I did not specify string. City is a string, so you put a string. I mean, the publishing is number. So you can put number here just to make sure it must be number only. And then you invoke that constructor. Okay. It's a constructor. Every time you see the word new, this is a constructor, a instantiating object, publishing object of type event emitter. Okay, so now I'm going to um, create a function so I can pass this data to the parent and so we can see an action. So we're gonna put here a function to say, um, update uh, population. I'm gonna pass into this function a, a number, I call it n. And I'm just going to say this dot population dot emit, I'm going to emit n to wherever it's being passed to. Okay, this n comes from the a function in the in the button somewhere. Or, you know, in a, um, or if you do data binding, you can bind it to a input, right? But I'm just going to do a really simple, simple one. So in my child component HTML over here, I'm going to create a button. And this will be uh, update child population. So we know it's coming from the child and not from the parent. We're going to bind this button to a function, a click event. It's going to bind to the update, um, what do you call? update population and I pass this function. This is a number, I put a thousand here, okay? And usually again, you read from the form, but, um, well, I guess if you put a form right here, you're gonna put form and we'll bind this to a data called pop. And then the value will be equal to whatever it is. Well, we don't care about the value. Okay, and you're gonna pass in here a population, right? From this variable to this function, and you, you whatever you put here, it will be passed to this function, and then the function is going to pass that to the population, and it's gonna emit that to as an output somewhere to the parent component out here. And so right here, we're going to do something as follows. We put here at the bottom, let's put a HR so you can see it different here. This is the child B component. I mean, uh, the, the, um, <clears throat> the child component. I put another, um, yeah, I put another variable here to show the data coming from the child, okay? So it's gonna put right here, IP tag population. We'll put here, we'll bind that to a variable called population. And this population is from the, from the parent. Okay, this is just a regular binding from the parent. So I'm gonna go to the parent 
add components, create a variable call population. Okay, I'm going to put here just, you know, 10. Okay, initially it's going to be just 10. Right, so 10 goes in here, it displays 10 here. And you see if in action, let's see what it looks like. Right, so I know it's kind of ugly here, but you see that here's a population 10. So when I click update child population, it, it changes to Kenosha, because um, I have some errors. I mean, city here, right, Kenosha. And then when I update population, it's going to change this to a thousand. Because this one here is part of the child component. This is the parent, right? I show a different color here so you can see. Um, we will do that. So again, I put here style, I'll put some something here, some border. One, I should have kept that. Green, and then also put here a padding, um, maybe 20 px. So you can see the difference between. So here it is. Um, that's a margin too. Put here margin. 10 px. All right, so there should be plenty of space. So we go. So this is the child component, as you can see. I pass in data from outside, right, from the parent to the child. You can see here. And now I'm going to pass data from the child out to the parent. So if you put like a number here, whatever number it is, if I click out the child, it's going to pass this data out up to the parent and display it right here. Okay. So we already kind of did that in the child component. Now it's how do we receive it? So we pass in an object called population, and then we're going to send that, we're going to emit that as an event. Okay, you emit it as an event, it passes data to it. So in the parent component out here, you're going to receive in this child tag. So over here we got a city, we bind this to the variable in the city. I'm going to add another event here. Let me put this in multi-line so you can see. Of course, yes, absolutely you can do this. It does not need to be in the same line. And then the next property here would be the event that binds to a variable called population as well. It's in the child. It's, it's a little confusing, so um, maybe we should change this to something different. So I'll put here, um, yeah, let's put here child uh, population, okay? Sorry, changing a little bit here. So it's it's different. So it's in a child population. And make sure I did not put that here. Yeah, so that's fine. And so on the parent component, I'm gonna call it child population. So this name here is the same in the child. And it's gonna be bound to a function call update. Um, well, if, if I don't, if I don't, um, if I don't call a function, which I which I can, I must have a function to update this population. Okay. If you don't do that, then I believe you could just do it directly here. You can say, you know, population is equal to the event. See if this comes through. Okay. Because this event is what's coming from this object here. So if I save that, and we'll see if this works. So here we go. I put eight. Oh, it's an object. Yeah, I have to pass that to them to the um, variable. But it does change the, the event here. It's an element, but it needs to be a, the actual data. <clears throat> Okay, so let's let's change this to the function. I'm going to put here um, update pop. Just put that for now. We pass the event to it. And I'm going to copy this function, and this function must exist in the parent. So over here, put a function here, update from parent. I'm going to pass to this function a variable called n. And I just change this population to the n. Right. 
I updated that to a new value. That's all I'm doing. And let's see if this works. So if you put tall, um, yeah, something's not taking it. I'm probably not doing something. Yeah, it should be it should be the actual value is doing it's getting the object uh, element. Oh yeah, no, that's that's my fault because when I when I read the input, I should have put the other one and the child component. It should say pop that values right. I need to call the function. Uh, no, I mean the, the actual value, right? Passing the value to it so you can get the value. Otherwise you get the HTML element. <clears throat> Yeah, so get it from this input here, you get the value. And you can put a default value, right? But you just, let's just say you put here, um, you know, 500. That's the default. So now, that's the default. When I click that, as you can see, it passes that to the parent, and the parent receives that. If I change it to whatever it is, and there it is. Okay, so that's going from the child to the parent. Of course, I showed you a while ago that in the parent component, I didn't have to call this function. I mean, here, right? I could just say, you know, population equals event. And it should work because initially, I forgot to change, grab the actual value. So if that's all you do. I'm just changing the content of the variable, and I'm not doing anything, any, anything special to it. Uh, this should also work. So I'm not going to call the function out just you know, manipulate the variable directly. And um, as you can see, it worked just fine. Okay. So data coming from the parent down to the child, and then from the child up to the parent. <clears throat> so this is the child component. And of course, you can put this in multiple places, put it here, I put it down here, right, if I want to, and I have two of them, and it doesn't matter, right? I go here, as you can see, it changes either here or up here, doesn't matter, right? Because it's each of these is independent, and they share the same, just like an H1 tag, right, a paragraph tag, and so on. But just to show you how the flow data can be passed or communicated across components. Okay, so now notice I pass data over, over here as a as a, a number. Of course, you can pass data as a Boolean value as well. All right, so now let's do this. I'm gonna go and remove this child component. And instead of this child component, let's let's say that I'm gonna put here the um, the about page. App dash about put it right below it. Right, and below here. So it looks like this. It is the below component. So I'm sort of saying update parent component city uh, population. I'm going to put here a, another button to hide these contents, to hide the about page from the child component. The parent, we can do that easily, right? We can put a button in the parent component and hide it. But how do you do from the child? All right, so here example, let's do on the parent component. Here is easy. I could say here, very simple, right? You can put it in G here. If is uh, show about, the variable show about. Yeah, if, if that is true, then it, it shows, otherwise it hides it, right? So as you can see here, is this false? If you run the browser, you won't see it because it's nothing. It's not true. It controls the parent. That means in my parent component, if I have a variable called show about, if it's true. And yeah, now I save it. It's true, so therefore it shows. And there it is. Okay. How we how do we hide it? Well, we did the last week by saying okay. You could have a, a, a button here, right? To show and hide, hide the uh, about. 
this is in the parent, okay? So here you can find that to a function call show um, about, or is it show hide about? You call the function, you bind that to a function, you click event, you bind to the function, invoke it, okay? And then when you call this function, you're going to change this to its opposite. So the show high function, I'm going to copy this, put it inside the root component, put it right in here below it. The function, when I click the button, it's going to change this show high button about to its opposite, which is the show about and with the exclamation mark in front, the not, right? If it's true, the high, high, and so forth. So now we added the toggle button to show our stuff. So hide, show, you can see, <clears throat> okay, from the parent. Now, how do you do this from the child? Okay, so you do the same thing, except you put in the child and then you would pass the data up to the parent and you change the show about variable value, that's all. So the, the child can manipulate its parents uh, data. So let's go back in here. So notice again, I'm going to go to the child component over here. And just for simplicity sake, I'm going to copy the same uh, button from the parent. So this button here, this is from the parent. I'll copy that and add it to the child component, maybe somewhere right below here. Put a br so we have a space and put it right in here. This is in the child component. When I click this function, show high about, um, I'm, I'm going to call it differently, okay? So, such as child show high. So, we not confusing child from child show high, okay? So, we can see that. So, I'm going to call this function show high inside the child component. I have a function here. And I'm going to create a variable just like this. It's going to go out to the thing. So this is going to be an output. I'm going to copy this. Exactly the same. This is the show hide. It's going to be a new event of type boolean. Okay, it must be a true and false, right? So you put a boolean here. Or you can put any, it doesn't matter, but it's going to be boolean type. And then here, you're going to um, <clears throat> so when, when you when you show this this uh, data, you're going to pass something to it. So initially, I'm going to set it to a local variable. Uh, we'll put it here. Um, show is 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 um, we'll put it true by default. Okay. So when I click the button, I'm going to change this to false. So we're going to pass that value true false to the show high property object, pass that over up to the parent. So here we say this dot uh, show hide. You're going to emit just like down here, right? Emit what? Emit show, which is this show here. It'll be it'll be this show. Okay. I want to change the reverse of that. So again, the not, right? Initially it's true. When I click on it, it's going to say false. And I'm going to pass false up the chain to the parent, bind it to a function called uh, show height event. So on the parent component up here, I'm still dealing with the same child component here, okay? I'm not adding a new one, the same one here. So I'm going to bind again to another event called show hide. This is the one in the parent and the child right here. Okay, show hide. This is output. And it's going to bind that to this variable called show about. Right? So show about is equal to the event. Because I'm I'm just changing the state of this variable. 
If it's true before, if I click the child component, it's going to toggle this true, false, true, false. And because it's all react reactive, if this changes, it's going to affect this about tag because it's been rendered here. I'm not calling this function at all. I'm just affect the um, variable directly, okay? So if I save this now and go back to the browser, okay, so this is again, inside the green box here is the parent, I mean the, the child, and outside here is the parent. So I can see that that's working beautifully and the parent, I refresh that again, just in case. So in the child, I'm going to hide it. You can see, right, it works, it works very nicely. <clears throat> okay, and you see that I can I can show it because once I hide it, my code does not change to show and hide. Okay, it does not change show and hide here. Um, because I did not update the show hide. That's what <clears throat> here I could toggle because every time I change, the function changes to value. Here it just do one thing. Because my code just says, you know, when I click this show hide button it's going to change the value of this true to false. This is not a permanent data, right? So usually you would do something like this. So you would say, uh, to make it correct, you will put this down here. I would do this first. This show is now that. I'm changing the state of this show height, and then now I can pass it to this show a function instead. So this part here is exactly same as in the parent, right? Same thing. But this time I'm passing that over to the parent. Okay, so now I should be able to toggle as well through the child component. So here we go. Again, this is the parent, which is fine. There's the child. Okay, so you can see I can show and hide my content. Well, I hope that's, uh, you know, that's clear. Um, but you can see how this is done. Passing data out to the parent. And the parent here has both of these tags. I can I bind three things here, right? This is from the parent down to the child. This is from the child up to the parent. You, you receive data. You must pass the data as an event to a local variable or function in your uh, parent component in order to use those data. So I hope this will, you know, at least show you how you can complete the assignment. So you can have a, a, a button, I mean, a component called show hide as a child component, and you will render that here, right? So if I were to change my child component stuff, let's say if I don't have all these, if I remove all these here, and I only do the show hide, it will look something like that, right? So in my parent component, in my parent say that I don't have these either, um, right? And I only have, <clears throat> this is also the parent. Right, looks like that, right? So here's my, my parent page, my, content here. And if I click this button from this is, even though it looks just like on the same page this is from the child, I put the green as you can see here, but it does affect the data in the parent. So in your flights, right over here, I put a button here, this button here will be rendered from the child, just like, just like this button here in the child. And when I click the button, show or hide based on the, the value, then I'm going to change or display or show or hide this entire table. <clears throat> okay. And, and, and in my example, you see that in the notes, you'll see that it changes the color to green and blue, right? If you remember, I showed you that in the uh, example here, it has green, and then when I show it's blue, okay? 
So of course you can change that locally in your code as well. Not independent here, but where the button is. The button is inside a child. So I control the button color here. So the color could be changed based on that. Okay. So you can put like NGF here, right? If it's true, the green, otherwise blue. So because the state, state is inside here, you can change the state of show here. If show is true, then show green and so on. So I can say something like, just to show that that works, right here, NGF. Um, NGF. Oh, no, not NGF, I'm sorry. Um, you can bind directly to the style. Uh, to a, a style or to a class, however you however you want to do it. Um, yeah, I guess it's the style. Um, style about I'm buying to the style. <clears throat> the name of the style. Uh, if it's um, if it's if show is true, right? If show is true, then it's going to be. Um, what should we call it? Color green, right? Else, color, um, now we show is true, the green else, color is blue. Okay, so we'll see if this works. I'm not sure. Oh, probably breaks it. Yeah, it breaks it. Oh, I have to bind the two variable. Yeah, I need to bind the two variable. Um, we'll put it here, like put green, green. Otherwise, let's say blue. Okay, and green and blue will be um, a value, a variable inside your code, like the child component. You put here green. Your style, blue. Is that right? So if show is true, then um, if show is true, then blue. If show is true, green. Yeah, it'll be the reverse. So if show is true, then blue. That means it's already shown. If it's not shown, we put green. So you can toggle between those, I guess. Let's see. So it is right. I'm showing it because it's now blue. If I hide it, it's green. Okay. So once I click on it, the show is now true. If we put blue and then green, 